Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another Linux Top 5. And today we're going to look at the Top 5 Ubuntu-based distros. So uh, to look, consider this Top 5 list, we are not looking at any of the community builds. So Ubuntu Mate, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, those are all not included in this list because I'm going simply calling those Ubuntu with a different desktop environment. Um, and Really, the reason I want to do this is there are a lot of distros. Ubuntu is probably the distro that most things are based on, unless you consider Debian, because Ubuntu is based on Debian. So what I wanted to do is look at the different Ubuntu-based distros, and there are dozens of them. And I wanted to identify um, what, I, what I consider the top five builds. And these had to have more than just a different desktop environment or a different theme or a package manager. So that's kind of the direction I wanted to go. So let's go ahead and jump right on into these. My number five pick, Elementary OS. Even though this has not been one of my favorite distros and I have been very critical of it for what I consider to be good reasons, the distro is worthy of bringing a mention to the top five Ubuntu-based distros. And the biggest reason is uh, being based on Ubuntu, it has its own completely customized desktop environment being Pantheon, all of the apps built ground up for it and has, if you're not looking to change or edit anything in the system and you're just going to use it the way the developers want you to, it's a very good distro. Once you deviate out of that, it kind of becomes a little bit of a pain. But Elementary OS happens to have a lot of neat features to it. Uh, one of the things that they are doing is they, they have set themselves up a model that will actually help developers and help people realize that the these developers do do this without having a guarantee of payment and they have set up their store in such a way that you can actually pay the developers on the download. Now you do have the ability to come in and just hit enter and just download it. That certainly is a possibility, but I encourage you if this, if this is your daily driver to send some money to the elementary team because it will help them out in what they're doing. Um, their app store has a very similar feature. You can enter zero and download the apps in the, in the store free of charge, the majority of them. Um, but uh, there's also the ability to, uh, to pay what they say is a suggested donation to the individual developer. And you can customize that and give more or less than that as well. So those are some of the things that this uh, elementary OS brings with it. It also does bring with it a simplicity. Of course, it's kind of a Mac clone. They, they say they're not a Mac clone, but they are. Um, they're kind of built with that in mind. Uh, streamlined applications, uh, even the look and the feel of it very, is very reminiscent of that. And uh, it is based on, the uh, Pantheon is based on GNOME, and the core is based on Ubuntu. But it has a lot of uh, other interesting features for some things for some simplicity. And one of the major things, too, uh, that I really have always said this is a great feature, the best feature of this distro, is it has amazing parental controls built right into the settings panel itself. And that is a huge, huge win uh, if you have a family computer. So that is my top, uh, my number five, excuse me, is Elementary OS. Number four, Bodhi. The reason I pulled out Bodhi is because they have, uh, it is essentially kind of like what I said I was not going to do, just Ubuntu with different desktops, um, except Bodhi has really taken that to a further extreme and developed a completely different desktop based on being lightweight. So they're using the desktop called the Moksha desktop, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Uh, but this is based on Enlightenment, which is a very lightweight desktop, but is also still fully feature. So it's kind of like uh, KDE, although you don't get quite as lost in the settings and the options. Highly widgetized, uh, highly flexible, highly customizable, um, and very, very modern, but stylish looking at the same time. Uh, so that's really kind of what they're, what they're, um, uh, what their their take is is just to have a completely different type of Ubuntu distro based on their own homebrewed desktop environment based on certainly one of the least popular desktop environments at least in the the context of of finding desktop environments that actually uh, utilize enlightenment and things like that so uh, Bodhi is just an interesting desktop you might have a look at 
they are currently releasing their uh, new version based on the Ubuntu 1804 core. So if you're looking for the 1804 core and looking for something different, take a look at Bodhi. I'll go ahead and link my last year's video for, of Bodhi into the uh, description. Number three is Pingoy OS. This one here I just had a look at the other day, the, the 1804, uh, I think it's a, I can't remember if it's a full release or if it's a 1804 beta. Um, but uh, this is just released. This is a, a uh, it's a Ubuntu highly customized for the new user. They have built in some tools and some setup, modified the GNOME shell, installed a bunch of extensions to make a system that is very user friendly out of the box. So if you are looking for closer to an Ubuntu feel with a degree of customizability and simplicity for a newer, newer user, you might go ahead and have a look at Pingoy OS. Uh, they do have a, a look that feels a lot more like a Mac, so if you are looking for something like that, you can go ahead and, and have a look at that. But they also have a lot of other system tools, extensions installed, and uh, it, does, uh, it does work on a, um, on a little bit lower um, spec computer. As it's not quite as system heavy as GNOME, but it is close. So don't use it on a light machine. Um, four gigs of RAM is what they say works the best. And they'll even tell you if you have less than that, you might want to check out something like Ubuntu Mate, which takes quite a bit less. Number two is Linux Lite. Linux Lite, the reason I'm putting this in the number two spot is it's based on Ubuntu with a modified XFCE desktop. So this thing is extremely fast. I think it runs on like 200 megabytes of RAM. So definitely good for a low spec machine. But it also has a lot of tutorials, guides, customizability, and built-in features that make it ideal for a new user. There is pretty much nothing that you would need to drop into the terminal for um, in Linux Lite as it uh, as it just has a series of tools built in specifically for it. Um, there's really not a lot of difference between Linux Lite and uh, MX Linux. It's just that MX Linux is based on Debian. Linux Lite is based on Ubuntu. So uh, take that for what it's worth. They're both running a similar uh, a similar desktop environment. Of course, Linux Lite is set up like a more conventional uh, desktop experience versus MX Linux is slightly more unconventional with the default sidebar on the left side of the screen instead of on the top or on the bottom. But Linux Lite is a great place to go for a very lightweight um, and easy to use system. They have a, uh, a lot of tools built in. I I think there's a minimal install and a full install of it as well. I, I just can't remember for sure. Let's go ahead and have a look at their downloads page, see if it, what it says here. You can see a requirements of only one gigahertz processor, uh, 768 megabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of storage. So this is actually really specced out for a really, really low spec computer, you know, less than a gig of RAM. That's pretty rare in this day and age. Like I said, the main system processes run, I think, on 200 megabytes. Um, of course, they're recommending at least one gig of RAM. So this one here is probably the best distro to run if you have a very low spec machine. Either this one or Zubuntu, which is Ubuntu with XFCE. But this one here also, the reason you'd run this instead of Zubuntu is this has a ton of those tools to help you with a variety of settings, a variety of configurations, uh, driver installations, just a whole lot more settings that you may not find in the regular uh, Ubuntu uh, or Zubuntu. So Linux Lite is an absolutely fascinating desktop. I, I uh, had a look at the most recent version here uh, just a couple weeks ago, so you can have a look at that video, uh, which will be linked in the description down below. So that is my Linux Lite. And before we jump into our number one spot, then uh, don't forget to help support the channel. You can check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support for all of the ways to currently help us. And uh, you can pick up t-shirts, coffee cups, mouse pads, and other things like that at shop.switchtolinux.com. If you're happy to be looking for a t-shirt, or uh, I do have nice stainless steel water bottles as well, if it's the hot summer where <laughs> you are, like it is for me. And also, you can check out Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. And of course, our number one, you all knew it was happening, Linux Mint. Um, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. The reason this is the number one spot for me is just 
it works on more hardware configurations than you can shake a stick at. Um, it has three different desktop environments. Unfortunately, it used to have four, but they dropped KDE. So you can get this in their, their own Cinnamon, which is built for Linux Mint. They also have the XFCE and the Mate desktops. You can install other desktops on this, like I've installed Ubuntu, uh, excuse me, not Ubuntu, I've installed uh, Budgie on it. I've installed, um, I've installed KDE on it for those that still want the KDE option. You can install it on the new uh, Linux Mint 19. But Linux Mint has, it has three different desktop options. It has a lot of its own built-in tools, including driver utilities to help you with those drivers that don't, um, uh, don't come shipping with uh, Linux distros. It has a lot of other features that just make it run really well and really smooth. This is the desk distro that I use for my work and for my video production. It's just a fabulous setup that uh, I can set it up just the way I like it. And uh, there's really, if I could change anything about Linux Mint, what would I do? Eh, I'd have a hard time with that because for me, it's just a wonderful distribution. So that is my top five list of the best distros based on Ubuntu. What are your favorite distros based on Ubuntu? Let us know in the comments down below. Once again, I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.